I'd like to bring up two occasions that happened within this past weekend, uh, Mr. Cisco. Two occasions? What are you talking about? What happened when we got uh, all you can eat sushi? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you know, I, I blocked it from my memory. I did block it from my memory. So uh, when was that? Tuesday? No. No, that was like Thursday? I think Thursday or Friday. Yeah, Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday last week. Um, you know, obviously after our podcast went live, Ratu and I went to All You Can Eat Sushi. And it's funny because we were debating on what we wanted for lunch. What are, what are we in the mood for? He wanted all you can eat barbecue. Yeah, I wanted Korean barbecue. But I was like, I'm not in that, that, that kind of mindset to be putting away, pause, that much meat. You know, <laughs> you know, like you get me like, like, okay, so what I'm about to say next is how you, like it was kind of why we decided to go all you can eat sushi. I didn't think I could eat my money's worth and all you can eat barbecue. Like, and then some. Yeah. I could probably eat like $25, $30 worth of meat, but like. Yeah. We're going to times that by two at least. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, but I, I didn't have that mindset when if, I, if we did go to my all you can eat barbecue. Yep. But we, when I, when we I were, said we were, sushi. Yeah, we were just like, what, what else is there? You know, then he said sushi. And I was like, ooh, well, I don't know about all you can eat sushi. But same time, I thought I could, I could eat about. Thirty dollars worth of sushi right now. If I get thirty dollars, my money's worth. Sure, so be it. Like, like I, th- I th- and honestly, it was hot. Yep, hot. You had just got off of work. I, I had gone down there, picked you up, um, and I don't know. Sushi sounded good, and Ratu knows. I'm never really in in all you can eat sushi mood even though i've said multiple times on on this podcast like i go to all you can eat sushi. yeah i mean mainly Selena. but it's rare occasion yeah for me personally when i'm in the mood for sushi it's very rare selena my fiance she lives off of no off of sushi and pokey so or poke so um i normally go even when i'm not in the mood but that thursday <laughs> It, it sounded good, so we went down. To, so he, we went down to a spot uh, down the street from from our house, and uh, you had been there before. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I had never gone. I was like, "Screw it, let's do it." Down the street, it yeah. was no harm. Yeah, yeah, man. Down the street was definitely a key factor there. Yeah, because if and when we became miserable. <laughs> The drive home wouldn't have been bad. Yeah, the drive home wasn't. It terrible. was like four blocks at most to just to get home. Yeah, absolutely. So, so like, it was kind of a win-win, and he didn't know it, but I was just like, I'm gonna treat like him. I was just like, it's just my it's my treat because been a long week, couple weeks of work, very hectic, right? And then you pick me up, you scoop me up, and I was like, let's just let's just get some sushi. Plus, so like you know, my treat down the street. And at least it's sushi, you know? And yeah. worst case scenario, if it F's us, like, if it just fucks us up, there's a Walmart down there. <laughs> One block over. <laughs> yeah, that, that Walmart was easy walking distance. And I think it was like 102. Yeah. 102 degrees outside. So, we got sushi. <laughs> I went to the restroom because I had to pee. Came back. <laughs> Look at the menu. <laughs> And Cisco already has a good portion of the menu filled out. And I'm thinking, maybe it's for both of us. <laughs> and then, so I just let him do his thing. Gives me the menu. He's like, here you go, bro. Order what you want. And I was like, three, four, five. I was like, there's no way you're going to. like." And deep down, I was like, there's no way you're going to finish all this. And I then go I for ordered, round two. <laughs> to be fair, I think I ordered three appetizers. For sure, one was an appetizer, which was... Uh, mixed tempura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mixed tempura. I always, I always love tempura. But on the appetizer menu, they had one that was called uh, shrimp bomb, shrimp bomb, and uh, monkey brain. Both, both tempura things, but shrimp bomb obviously had shrimp. Uh, it was either spicy tuna or crab. Uh, and then it was uh, battered tempura and deep fried. 
Uh, monkey brain is mushroom with crab on the inside and deep fried. Normally, normally when I order these at other places, they're not that big. They're bite size. <laughs> the ones that we got, now mind you, these are two pieces. They had to grow these mushrooms on steroids. This thing was like <laughs> the size of, I don't even, I can't even describe it. Maybe just slightly smaller than a tennis ball. The monkey brain was like half of this. I, yeah, I yeah, like yeah, it yeah. was like, because it was that. a good portion. It was, yeah, it was fat. And and the uh, two, or what is the shrimp bomb was a little bit larger than this flashlight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like a little bit larger than this. Two pieces each. These things were massive. And I I had ordered two of each because there's only two pieces. Okay, cool. A, a portion for my boy, a portion for me. Mistake. <laughs> Mistake. Mistake. Because I because not only did I order those three appetizers. I ordered at least seven rolls plus uh plus uh like nigiri two, like two baked rolls too yeah two oh, baked including rolls. the seven rolls there was like two of them were baked yeah two of them were baked um three of them were tempura rolls <laughs> and then i ordered nigiri as well so yeah i'll you know it, when you let your stomach talk it um you regret it like towards the end yeah. you're like what was i thinking let me tell you something how many rolls did you order that first round that first round i think i did like maybe so i i do the i do it because of of deja as well i start thinking what i want to order but i cut that in half because i'm like i probably have to finish her side her too. side okay so like i wanted a couple so i think i only were like three or four on top of like maybe two nigiris okay so then after that I was chilling, but I remember when I was done with like mine, I was looking at yours. I was like, I was like slowly picking at it, but well, I just see, saw you. There was one roll that I thought was yours. Which was it the bake roll? It was a baked roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was, we thought it was a scallop roll. Yeah, but it was like a dynamite roll or something. Yeah, like I think that, it was or? a dynamite roll. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not really into scallops. I thought it was his, so I was like. So he was picking at it. I was like, okay, cool. I didn't realize it was mine. <laughs> so <laughs> excluding that one roll, I am struggling. <laughs> this is round one. <laughs> round one. There's a there's a picture I have of him. He's just just hunched over. <laughs> I am miserable. <laughs> I was and I'm so over here just having the time of my life. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's eating. One more round, please. <laughs> when he ordered the second round, I was like. I was like, don't do it. You're going to great. He was like, no, no, no. I portioned it out. Like, I planned it. Yeah. I was like, all right, do you? But you ordered, like, another five rolls still. No, well, well, let's relax. I think, like, three, maybe four. I guess two of them were in the Giri for sure. Okay, okay, Because yeah, I yeah. wanted the pepper salmon. I yeah. think three more rolls. Yeah, three rolls plus the Giri. Three rolls, and and then I think you, I think I had to finish, like, one of the other leftover rolls, which was fine. Yeah. But, like, yeah, after that, I was kind of pretty capped. Yeah. But the nap when I got home, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, he napped. I kind of just sat here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and thank God I left the AC on. Oh, when we came home and like that that nice chill just, just hits when you your open face. The door, just wafts on you. I was like, oh. I already had it in my mind. I was like, one, I'm just gonna handle my business, get everything situated, and just knock out right after. Just take a little nice little nap. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, yeah, that nap uh, was great. I took it. I took my nap later on. Yeah, that that boy was man. Fantastic. Do I regret it? Absolutely. But at the same time, will you do no. it again? Yeah, most likely. Did we learn a lesson? No, no never do. No. Well, Ratsu, he played it out smart. He even even I noticed this even at like uh, all you can eat buffets, uh -huh. you know, where it's cafeteria style. Yeah. I normally lo will load up like two three plates, so I don't have to go back for seconds. I'm like, all right, let me let me get everything that I want now. Eat it. Mm. I'll be good. So that's how I treat all you can eat sushi too. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna get what I want now, so I can come out. I don't have to wait for a second round. Let let it sit and and become fuller. But at the same time, that's my own demise because I'm eating while I'm hungry. I'm stuffing myself. Yep. And when the full feeling hits, I'm still eating. <laughs> so it's just like I can put it. I could put the rest away. And why the hell do we do that? <laughs> big back activities, big dog. 
Big back activities. <laughs> big back activities is accurate. What was the second thing that you wanted to bring up? <laughs> um, because this happened to me before, but obviously it was the the whole doing things where we're just too old for this. <laughs> Are you talking about my family barbecue? When you jumped, <laughs> when you said you hurt your back doing that jump, I was like, ah, oh, he'd be fine. But when I saw you hurting, I was like, yep, I get that. Let me I get that. <laughs> let me let, let me give some story to this, okay? <laughs> so Saturday, my family had a, a barbecue celebration of my nephew Jared graduating CHP boot camp. Honestly. I didn't think it was going to be as big of a barbecue as I thought it was going to be just a smaller, like immediate family barbecue. By the looks of it, it almost looked like all were immediate. But, you know, well, but that's a beautiful thing about like family barbecues. It's like they you will be treated like family. Like even if you oh. were not like blood related, like you are in there and you're hearing stories that like something that happened like 10 15 years ago and act like you were there yeah so yeah. that's the beautiful thing about family so so yeah, yeah. It, as much as you think it'd be a small event yeah so that turnout was like well, pretty so uh a good amount of my aunties and my and my cousins came out which was dope um but uh a lot of his immediate family came out as well so uh i'm not too familiar with that there was a good mm-hmm. amount of people i'd say roughly like 50 ish people came out yeah uh, so it was it was a good party. Um, it was at my sister's house. She has a pool. Um, I didn't connect it because, again, I thought it was going to be a small party. I didn't think it was going to be like a pool party. But I picked up my sister and her fiance, and she was like, "Are y'all swimming?" I was like, "A pool party?" She was like, "Yes, a lot of people are going to go swimming." I was like, "I didn't realize that. I didn't know." <laughs> I didn't tell Ratu that. I was like, all right, whatever. If the occasion, if, if, if the feeling is right, I'm going to jump in the pool. Like, I don't care about being soaking wet. Just sitting there drying. I don't care. So we get there and we're in Ontario. It was like 98 degrees. Like it was still pretty hot. It was hot. In Riverside, it was like 106. 106. It felt like. <laughs> When you open up the oven to put something in and you just feel heat yeah. in your face and you already broke a sweat just by opening that oven. Yeah. That's how it felt in Riverside. Yeah. And ev- like you just felt everything around you was baking. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I could go out in the pool just to cool off. But I was not in the mindset for a pool. I was like my all, like most of my shorts are pool ready. They're like okay. they're like woven like they can go in the pool. I only have like maybe three pairs of shorts that are like cotton that I would not probably wear, but like I already had it ready, not because I knew it was a pool party, but it was just like That's just most of the time it is. Uh, most of time I'm out, doesn't probably be near a pool. Or like a beach, because no, that's, that's the only time I'll be out during the summer. That's that's actually <laughs> smart. So but I should yeah, start doing it, we, I was I was sitting in that patio with y'all and I just felt everyone, everything baking. We were we were <laughs> all baking. And let me tell you something. My sister told me the party was at two. My sister Francis. <laughs> she told us it was at two. And I was like, okay, cool. See, here's the thing. Francis is similar to me where they say the party starts at two. We like to be on time. I always even joke with my family. It was like, it's either I'm on time or I'm not there. Just no. don't, don't, don't include me if I'm not there on time. Yeah. Okay. My, the rest of my family, my other sisters, two of my other sisters, they're, they're typically on time as well. So I know they were already there cooking, planning everything out. When we got there, they were like, they were grilling. I was like, okay, it's almost done. We're about to eat. I didn't realize how much more prep time they had to do or they needed. So I was chilling, whatever. My nephew, Justin, hopped in the pool with his girlfriend, who I met for the first time. Super dope. And I saw that. And because of how hot it was when we were sitting there, for literally like 10 minutes we were sitting there, I had went through like two drinks already. I was like, screw this. I'm getting in the pool. And I definitely not pool ready. <laughs> I wore the same shorts that, that I wore at the party and they're cotton shorts. I, I literally just took my tank top off, took off all my electronics and just dove in. Man, 
man, that pool felt so good. <laughs> it was so nice. I was like, and I was in there for a good like 15 minutes. I was like, all right, cool. Let me let me chill for a little bit. And even though it was still 106 degrees, because I was at the pool and I was wet, and, and then I started feeling the breeze. Oh, uh, it felt like it felt nice. Like I cooled down dramatically. I was like, everybody needs to get right now. All this sweating and uncomplaining, everybody's gonna shut up when they hop in the pool. Yeah. So that's what I was like. I was like, hop in the pool, hurrah to. I wasn't even complaining or anything like that. It was just like I was still kinda just waking up, kinda just like zoned out. And I'm just like, I'll kinda wake up in a bit. But I didn't want to like jump in the I don't know what it was. I just I just had to prep myself. So I got some food, maybe. Yeah. And yeah. even then, like when I got some food, I was just like, give me like 15, 30 minutes. <laughs> I never follow that rule. I think I'm at that age where like, I think I need that time. Now. <laughs> so yeah, get out the pool. It's like I had dove in the pool. I dove in a couple times already. So I was like, I'm chilling. And then um, we ate, chilled for like 30 minutes or so. People started getting back in the pool. I was like, say less. Well, actually kids were getting in the pool. And and some of the older older adults were like, I don't know. I was like, I don't care. I'm like, I'm a, I'll be the first adult. I don't care. Yeah. I'm gonna get in the pool. Actually, before we got in the pool, we loaded up one of them super soakers with ice, ice water. And we were, ice cold water. I was blasting people. <laughs> I was blasting my nieces, kids in the pool. I was like, I don't care. But to be on the receiving end of that, that would have been. Yeah, no, when I hit Jason with it, Jason's like, oh, wow, that actually feels great. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, screw it. I dove in the pool again, literally like two hours later from when I first dove in. Jason jumps in, and then you you dipped your feet in. You were like, ooh, it's nice. I was like, get in. They're like, nah, man, I got to wait at least like 30 minutes or so. I was like, it's been 30 minutes. And you were like, you're right. <laughs> I, was like, I looked at it too, and I was just like, man. There's no way I need more than more than 30 minutes because I'm like feeling the food digest. But you did have a headache, too, though. Yeah, that oh, that too. That yeah. I did. I did feel it a little bit creeping in. I was like, it's probably going to get worse gradually because I don't have like small headaches and it goes away. It'll gradually just like so I was just like, whatever. Let me just give it a couple more minutes and I'll jump in. But yeah, I was in there and it was pretty solid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was nice. It was nice. And then. Like I dove in a couple more times doing cannonballs, just regular dives, or whatever. And then I just said, I was like, "Tell Jason." I was like, uh, "I said dunk contest, but I meant cannonball contest." You know what's funny is you said dunk contest, and I was like, "I know he meant cannonball contest," <laughs> but I was thinking like, "How would we do a dunk contest? Yeah. Like, would, <laughs> would we, what are we using as a ball yeah, here?" But yeah. I was just like, "Whatever with the vibes." But I figured that's what you meant, like cannonball. Yeah. Jason Jason went first. He dove. I was like, all right, cool. And then what I wanted to do, because I used to be able to do it when I was younger, is do a side flip into the pool. You did. You looked at you like the way you position yourself, and you're telling me, and I was like, this looks so sketch. <laughs> See, let me tell you something. I was very because, mind you, my sister had been living in the house for a while. Yeah. When I was younger, I was diving in that pool same way. Keyword. Younger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Keyword. Was. This, this, is what we're this is what we're leading up to. Younger. <laughs> we're doing things uh, that we're doing now that when we were younger it was okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I felt I felt very confident up until I got to the edge of the pool on on, on their little rock cliff thing. I was like, mm, this is higher than I thought it was. <laughs> this is. And as I'm staring at it, I'm getting more fear from yeah, it. Yeah, I was yeah. like. In, in my mind, I'm trying to find out, like, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Just do it. Just do it. You've done it before. You've done it hundreds of times before. Just do it. I was like, nah. The sensible, the sensible adult in me was like, nah, don't do it. And I'm glad I didn't do it because I'd probably be even more fucked up. Because I just went for a cannonball and I went to, you know, how you, you tuck your legs in. I went to do that. I think it was the extension of you going, whoa. <laughs> and then you pulling yourself in. Like, ah. Yeah. Uh, and I felt, uh, I felt the tug in the air. I was like, Oh, <laughs> just dove in underwater. I was like, oh, <laughs> so I back to the top. I was like, my back. <laughs> I don't know why I said exactly, but I was like, I pulled something on my back. And then you're like, I got to give that. I got to give that, that, that cannonball to Jason. I was like, man, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I put myself on that one. I don't even give one. And then Jason was like, you next? After I saw what you did, I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I was like, 
Damn you. <laughs> no, I'm going to just sing those Damn we, you, Ratu. We both get me broke, uh, back broken <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> Even though you ended up driving home. Thank you. No, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, I mean, overall, it was a good day. My, uh, what's crazy is this was two days ago. <laughs> my, my back still hurts. <laughs> Yesterday, no, I was trying. I was telling Ratu, uh, Sunday, like morning. I when I laid down Saturday night, I could not get back up. I literally could not get back up. It, the my back hurt that much. I hate to admit that. <laughs> Like there was a point where I was like, "Crap, I gotta use the restroom." I was like, oh, "I was gonna call you." The way you were like, "Hey, bro, I need your help. Walk my ass to the toilet." <laughs> Come on, sir. We're gonna go to the restroom, okay? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but I was like, "No, I can't do that." So I literally, I'm in the standard bed. It's like two, three, two and a half ish feet off the two ground. Yeah, yeah. So I rolled onto my stomach and I pushed myself toward the edge. And then I let my feet hit the ground and then I had to, had to push up and then literally everything along the way I was grabbing onto for support. It's like, oh God, oh God, please help me. Oh, it was the worst, worst feeling ever. And, I, and I've only hurt my back like that one other time. I forget what it was though, but it was it, sucks. Was it the time like hurt, hurt or like just pulled it? Because I know that happened like last year when we, we did uh, when we started working out together, and I remember you deadlifted. So okay, so um, I don't. I think I've told you this before, actually, but the area that gets hurt, it's the same spot. It's just perpetually sprained because of a car accident I was in oh, back in 2012. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. I got rear-ended on the freeway, um, and it was sprained. And I remember like going to the doctors for it. They're like. Yeah, that that muscle sprained, and the only way to let that really heal is for you to be off your feet one to two months. And I was like, well, there's no way that I can do that. Yeah. Um. And at that time, this is 2012. This is 12 years ago. Yeah. I was like, like I'm, I'm young. I'm, I'm working. 12 like, years ago is wild to hear. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just to preface how bad this accident was, it totaled my car. Yeah. I was rear ended on the freeway. Freeway, uh, uh, due to an accident, came to a complete stop. The uh, the car behind me did it wasn't paying attention. <laughs> destroyed my car, but um, it ju- it's just perpetually in pain. I'd say ninety percent of the time I'm fine. Like even if there is pain, I've grown so used to it, it yeah. doesn't bother me. But when I do exert myself a good amount, especially like last year when we were working out like nonstop. My back hurt like that's that that made sense but yeah like I've, I've only experienced that muscle in so much pain it was like terrible even even directly after the accident like it was sore it was in pain but not to the point where like it was a couple days ago where i could not walk and i was just like sorry we're too old for this shit <laughs> too old nah screw that screw that because after after when i was hurt when we were working out and and it got better and we were still working out i felt great oh yeah yeah of I, felt, course. I mean yeah, obviously yeah. me being overweight isn't helping out my back or my core or anything so, like and i need yeah, but i bro. mean like the working out isn't the whole like oh too old for this what i mean is just like doing extensive stuff like see here's the thing my <laughs> goal of working out is to get back to doing that type of shit which is fine <laughs> but even then i i've pulled my back like i when I was in like good shape last year, I pulled my back sneezing, <laughs> yeah. and I was still in good shape. Yeah, I've done that it's before. just like you know. <laughs> I'm not admitting it. I'm not old. I'm not. I'm 33. I'm not old. <laughs> You're 33 years young. No. <laughs> wiser <laughs> to a to a cougar you could be young <laughs> i hate you i hate you so much if that's how you want to perceive yourself <laughs> yeah that's how our past that's how our past uh four or five days went a lot of it wasn't a lot but it was still a lot, <laughs> it was a lot. Let me say, yesterday i was in so much pain the day flew by the day absolutely flew by and i was trying to get stuff done my back w- wasn't agreeing with me. My body was like, hey, man, can't be doing this no more. 
Well, I went to, I think like we just crossed paths, like coming out of our desk. I went to the kitchen, then you went to go roll, but I didn't know you were rolling until I heard you groaning. And I was like, oh, he's on the roller. You Which I could have sworn I've seen you on the roller like maybe the past couple months, but you said you haven't done it much. I haven't done it. Yeah. The past two days, I've done it more. Yeah. I've done it more than <laughs> the past, I don't know, four months. <laughs> but I went to Crazy. go fill up my water. <laughs> I come back and you are just in. I know that feeling. Like it's half pain but half ecstasy like you enjoy the pain <laughs> you know what i mean like, like you enjoy yeah. the pain just a little bit i'm like, not a masochist not a masochist not a ma- <laughs> <laughs> one minute <laughs> <laughs> one one cut i'm not enjoying the pain <laughs> i'm enjoying the release, the release yeah the, of pressure which you were doing for a good like i want to say five minutes but for a good two minutes you were in like a whole different, you know, like when you rub your eyes and you just see galaxy and you're just doing that for like, a, that's what you were doing. And I just had my like foot up the, on the couch just watching. How long him. were you standing there? Cause he scared me. Cause my eyes were closed. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. He was just moaning and I was just like watching over him for a good, like maybe two minutes. Was it really? Cause I had my, my shit was full, bro. <laughs> By the time he was done and realized it was like probably here. <laughs> Cause I just kept doing this. Just every time I heard it go, oh, I go. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and I and I said just like yeah, uh huh, like a couple times, but just low. I didn't not hear not it. loud enough for you to hear, but just just maybe you would hear it. <laughs> but now you were just <laughs> I, lost in the sauce. <laughs> I was on a complete different level, pulling out my back. Honestly, I need to do it right now. That shit hurt. Um. So yeah, the, uh, I guess we'll end it there. Uh, the last <laughs> couple of episodes been an hour, and I. I I'm aiming for our episodes to be around 30-ish minutes. So yeah, that's a summary of uh, the past couple of days we had off, guys. Uh, Ratu, did you have fun? You had fun. It was, uh, it was I, so I was the only one miserable. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only one that 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 uh, that was miserable after all you can eat sushi. <laughs> even even getting up right now to adjust to adjust myself hurt. Okay, I'm too. I don't know. I'm not old. I'm not old. <laughs> old we're gonna we're gonna talk about old, uh you know old people stuff that, that i enjoy <laughs> one is i don't i haven't done it recently but one is going to bed early <laughs> i i love that <laughs> i actually love that <laughs> I, I like going to bed early too. <laughs> there was a there was a good like maybe four or five months uh 2022 i was drinking tea before i went to bed <laughs> <laughs> nah, but here's the thing, bro. You, you've liked tea for the longest time. Even when we were teenagers, I remember you. You would like enjoy tea, and I think Francis said it well. It's like you got an old soul. Oh, that is true. I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, this man. Yeah, like I'll I'll go. Like I don't mind going out, like to party and went out, but I'll do it every once in a blue moon. Yeah. If you see me two nights in a row, very rare question. If you see me three nights in a row, four nights in a row. He's going through it. I need help. I need yeah. help. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> yeah. If, if if he makes it past night two, if he's on the third night, he's going through some shit. <laughs> he's going through some shit. Just kidnap me, give me some uh some ginger tea, and maybe I'll be fine. <laughs> some ginger tea. Just just put him on a bed, tuck him in. <laughs> just just play some nice old jazz music, and I'll be fine. And lock the doors, please. <laughs> lock the door. I don't want anyone coming in to kidnap me. <laughs> I am easily influenced. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, Come on. Oh, where are we going? Come on. We're going to Vegas again. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bit on black, baby. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Screw it. Before, before we end this podcast, this man, the last week, not last weekend, it was the weekend before. Two Sundays ago. Two Sundays ago. Two su- it was last Sunday. He he did an impromptu trip to Vegas, and <laughs> it's funny because our friend JJ and other people know we knew Michael, uh, Adrian, Mikey. or Mikey. Mikey. Mikey so sorry. it was a Saturday. I was just just meeting up. There, like my boy Adrian hit me up. It's like, hey, we're on. We're in. We're at Dave and Buster's. Come through. Come through. We're just you know having the drinks. Usually, I'd say no to drinks like on a work night, 
now, but it's because it's Adrian, and I know he doesn't get into anything wild. What's a few drinks? Dave and Buster's Ontario, it's fine. Mikey's there, so I'll catch right with him. Well, if we're too messed up, we could just Uber it, it's fine, whatever. So I was like, cool, I'll be down there. Me, I just got done with the 12-hour shift. Me and Cisco were going home. I told him I'll just drop myself off there. You take the car, and then I'll, I'll meet you at home later. We get, I get there. There, mind you, we there had they, we had yeah. both worked that twelve-hour shift. Yeah, yeah we, we we both just got done working. As much as I would want him to invite, like to come drink with us, I knew he had plans with Selena, so I was just like, I'm not gonna even shoot yeah. the invite because normally I would have gone. Yeah, normally I'm like, screw it, let's do it. Now, only mind you, if he had gone, hours, like, <laughs> if he had gone, I probably wouldn't have gone to Vegas. <laughs> I don't know, bro, because if I would have gone. I probably would have felt it too. I, you would have felt it because the whole, like, all, the whole group felt it. Yeah, because I would have been like, yeah, fuck it, let's go. So, like, we are maybe an hour and a half in watching the UFC fight. Mikey's as drunk as always. JJ is on a good buzz. Me and Adrian just catching up, like, just everything that, you know, like, that we missed out on since I've last seen him. Maybe like 30 minutes later, JJ is looking at his phone, looking at a DJ that he likes. Like, oh, look, John Summit's playing in Vegas, this and that. I forgot who said it. It was either between me and Adrian, because Mikey's not going to say anything. He's just having, he's in his own world. He's in his element. One of us just said, let's just do a turnaround trip to Vegas. Let's go see him. And of course, it's like it fed into to Jose's, like, what he wants. And he goes, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's go to Vegas. Let's go see him. You know, I know where he's staying. I was like, all right, calm down, relax. <laughs> where is he performing? So we're on this high. Me and Adrian look at each other like, I'm so down. Let's just do this. We find out that uh, Jose's DJ is not playing at, at like the day after, which is going to be Sunday. So we're like, ah, whatever. But I'm like, we're like, we're still on this high. I'm like, let's just do it. Let's just go on a turnaround trip. Let's see who else is playing. Look up this list. Freaking, I think one of the first ones is DJ, DJ Dioro. That's uh, Five Hours with Chris Brown. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I think that's him. I'd quote, you can fact, fact, fact check me, but I think that's that's who Dioro was. Um, and then the other one was... Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let me know. There was a couple... There's quite a few notable ones, but then there was one with Timbaland and... Uh, Timbaland and someone else. Oh, Bust Timbaland and Busta Rhymes. He did tell me that. Yeah, Timbaland and Busta Rhymes. And I think that's what me and uh, me and Adrian were like. Ah, that could work out. That's pretty. I can't even lie. Timbaland and Busta so Rhymes we're over here good. like we're over here like let's just do it. Even if it's not the DJ, let's just do a turnaround trip. Tell him Mikey. It, Mikey's the most easily influenced. Like, hey, come on, let's go, dog. And he's just like, let's do it. I got points. I'm, I'll book the room for us right now, pero. Boop, boop, boop. We're doing this. This is like an hour process of us. Like, are we really doing this? Oh, I'm really looking up rooms. All right, let me go pee, blah, blah, blah. Adrian's already been drinking water for the past hour, but he's still drinking. So every like drink he orders, he has a water. water. Yeah. So he's like slowly sobering up. Okay. Now he's asking questions that are logical. <laughs> and me knowing who I like, how I am, if you ask me these logical questions, I will sober up quickly because yeah. he was just like, how are we going to get there if you want more people to come? Uh, we need to, we like, like, Bra, like Ratu and Mikey need to go get uh, clothes at in Ontario. I got to go back home to get clothes too. We all got to, Jose's like, no, we're not stopping. We're going to go straight there. <laughs> Jose was on a mission. He's like, we're going to go straight there nonstop. We'll get clothes at, at, at the store. And I was like, I like that idea. Like, it was basically, <laughs> it was like the angel and devil. Like, like it was. I was conflicted. I was like, I, we could do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is possible. <laughs> so, like, the last five minutes before we even leave, I think me and Adrian were like, nah, nah, let's not do it. Ad Jose's in my face. He's like, don't... <laughs> He's like, don't be a bitch. Don't be... And I don't care about that. Jose always does this when he's drunk. But something in me that night, I was just like, I'm not a bitch. I'm not a bitch. I'll go to Vegas. <laughs> I'll do it. It's a turnaround chair. You know, well, what's holding me back? <laughs> but the biggest thing was work. I had work the next day. Yeah. And I and I was like, I'm not calling off, Jose. I'm not you. Like, Jose can call <laughs> off, get reprimanded. He'll deal with the consequences. Me, like, I just, I will not call off unless I have to, if I have to watch, like, my nieces or whatever. But, like, I've never called off for a person late, so I can't do it. He's like, don't be a bitch. Adrian's like, all right, let's do it. Let's go. 
So we're leaving Dave and Buster's. And I hear Adrian on the phone with this girl. He's like, hey, babe, pack, pack some clothes. Like, we're going to go we're gonna go to Vegas. I'm going to pick you up and we'll go to Vegas. And, like, called up his cousins and whatnot. I was like, yeah, yeah we're going to go to Vegas, get some clothes. Blah, blah. So I'm walking with Adrian. And we're, like, splitting ways because, obviously, Adrian took his car. Jose took his. So Mikey's rolling with him. So we're going to do, like, a two-man convoy up to Vegas. I'm thinking logical. I was like, well, if Adrian's going with his girl, he has three more seats. But if his cousins are going, he's going to need those seats in the back. So I'm like, no, nah, it's all good, Adrian. Go handle it with your girl. I'll go with Jose and Mike. And he goes, all right, no problem. The moment I walked to Jose's car, I was even regretting it. Like, I know the moment I sit in this car, this door closes, there is no turning back. <laughs> and I'm still having that guilt because, like, I know the moment I have, to, I have to sit in there, I have to call off. And then Mikey, is, he turned around, he was like, don't be a pussy pero and i was like all right man you don't have to say that i'm here yeah, i'm here aren't i he goes here. he was like you're here but you're not in here and that like putting it inside the car i was like <sighs> got in there slammed the door and it was it was a wrap there i had this guilt sitting on me and i think it was just more of i think i was just tired i just i just needed to sleep but we're driving up there and, and like i think from ontario all the way to summit I was like thinking to myself, I, I'm in the wrong car. I'm in the wrong I'm car. In the wrong. I'm in the wrong car. Because I'm baking that Adrian might ditch. Adrian might just like flake out or yeah. whatever. But like at least with Adrian, I have hope to be like, yo, hey, just, just take me home. You know what I mean? But if I told him, I was like, hey, just take me home. He wouldn't have done it. Nah. <laughs> I'm like, nah. So I'm sitting there. I'm not cranky. I'm just like, like I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> so I call, the, I call the necessary people. Let them know. Like, hey, I'm going to Vegas. I'm calling off this and that, yada, yada, yada. I, I think by the time we passed Victorville, I was like, <laughs> I was thinking like, I, I could ask uh, Jose to just drop me off at my, my, my mom's <laughs> house <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just catch a ride down, down for work. I can still make it work. Yeah. <laughs> but at that point I was just tired. Moment I got, I think we got to Victorville. We picked up, uh, uh, Alan, uh, for Jose. Yep. I knocked out, took it. Like we went to the liquor uh, gas station, picked up drinks. I knocked out. I woke up, I think by the time I woke up, we were at Whiskey Pete's, and I was like, it's too late now. We're already here, baby. <laughs> we here. <laughs> we are here. But I was like still groggy. They were like, you want anything from McDonald's? No, I'm good. And then Mikey's over there. He's like, we're, we're in Vegas, Pedro. We're in Vegas. I was like, hey, let me get two McChickens. Yeah. <laughs> two McChickens, and we're there. And I think the <laughs> moment I saw the Vegas lights, I was just, I was like, I think on cloud nine since then, all the way till we got back. Yeah. I was just. It was just like I'd never done a turnaround trip, but I was like, "Holy shit, this was much needed." Yeah, it was, it was very much needed. It was great. You know, shout out to Mikey, Alan, Jose. It was a great trip overall, and I, I don't think I regret anything about it. I think the only thing I regret was just like maybe bitching a little bit for the first like thirty minutes, but I think it was just mostly tired and just not wanting to having that personal time off. Yeah, I didn't see it as personal time off. I just saw it like I really shouldn't be calling off. Yeah, yeah, of course. But at the end of the day, like it was just I think I guess I just needed it. But overall, great time. No, yeah. So on the other side of the story, for me at least. <laughs> um, for you and a lot of people at so work. <laughs> after after I dropped him off at Ontario Mills, he's like, All right, I'll be home. Like, I'll Uber it. I was like, All right, cool, whatever. Originally, I was gonna be like, just drop me off at home, take my car. Like like, I don't care. If I had gone with that plan, I probably wouldn't have gone to Vegas. Oh, no, yeah, because you would have had my car. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so um, I was like, if you want, like, I could drop you off. I was like, yeah, I could do that. And then I, I could just have Mikey take me home. Like, All right, cool. Solid plan. Uh, I'll see you tonight or whatever. I get home, do, do, do my dinner thing with Selena, go to bed. And because I go to, I went to bed early because I knew he, work the next day sunday so when i wake up like i'm getting ready and stuff i go downstairs oh i was like or maybe maybe i just missed him maybe he was in the bathroom or like he walked by me going upstairs so selena was awake i was like i to come home last night no i was like maybe he's staying with jose maybe he's maybe he's just at jj's house and they're gonna come in because jj had to work that day too mm -hmm. i was like all right cool whatever <clears throat> I was like, I'm gonna I'm 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 let him roll out because I checked my phone. If anything was wrong, yeah, I would have texted you. He would have texted or yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. 
I was like, all right, cool. Like, Maybe that's how you know I really wasn't in in need of help because if I did, I probably would hit him up. Like, hey, come, come save me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally, he's thinking. Mentally, he wanted to go. Yeah, right, I, deep, I, I, deep, yeah deep, deep, deep down, down I really he, did want to go that day. <laughs> I just had a lot of like, I was just putting like a lot of he was <laughs> restraint all, on myself. You know, he was putting a lot of his responsibilities. You know, being an adult, being an adult, like I got to take care of these things. I got into work. I was like, I'm going to see him in a few minutes, whatever. One of our coworkers like, how did Ratu end up in Vegas? I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> I immediately texted him. I was like, how the fuck did you end up in Vegas? Dude, Didn't hear from him until like, I think like, dude, this is like 6.45 in the morning. I think like 8.30 is when I texted you back. Yeah, like 8 or 9, something like that. I was just like, I was like, I was like, how do you end up in Vegas? He was like, he was like, fool, I got to the wrong car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so here it is. From 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 six o'clock in the morning, like that day of Saturday, six o'clock, going to work, clock in at seven, clock out at seven thirty, right? And then here I am at Dave and Buster's. We leave Dave and Buster's like ten o'clock. We had to go pick up Alan in like deep in the middle of Victorville, like Apple Valley. Yeah. So that took about another like extra forty five minutes to get there. So we we don't get to like Vegas until about like two thirty in the morning. Clock in at the Orleans down in downtown, like close to Chinatown. Clock, uh, you know, check in there. Mikey is already awake. I'm already awake too because I already took my little nap. I'm I'm alive. I'm no, in Vegas. No, yeah, because something he didn't tell in this story when 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 he kind of like ate his food and he saw the lights of Vegas. He was like, "We're in fucking Vegas!" Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Me and Mikey were so hype. I just looked in. I was just like, "We're in Vegas!" We're just like pumping up, playing some music, and. I'm already on this high. Like, we're, it's Vegas, baby. Like, we're here. So, 2.30, we check in at the Orleans. Alan and, and Jose, they're, they're calling it a night. Me and Mike, Mike is like, we're going to the tables. I was like, I'm only going to spend $40 on this on this blackjack table. That's all I'm at. I, I'm at not the blackjack, but I'm going to spend only $40 in gambling. If I lose those $40, I'm done. I'm done. So, like, all right, cool, whatever. I'll get into the logistics about this later, but anyways... We gamble from two thirty all the way about to like six o'clock. We get to the hotel room. This is, oh, this wasn't at the hotel, huh? This no, this was at the hotel. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we were downstairs. So we're done. I I cashed in. I'm cool. Mikey's at the blackjack table. I, the moment I get there, he starts hitting. He was like, hit. Oh, win. Hit. Win. Double that. <laughs> He's like, hey, better if I put this fifty in. You think I'm gonna win? I was like, hey, do it, dog. Put another 50, bet, win, and we're like, all right, let's call night. Call it, we go upstairs, and I, I went to go shower, knocked out, and I woke up, and everything was just like a blur. Like, it literally felt like a dream, like that, that like everything that happened that past 12 hours yeah. beforehand. So I'm waking up to text, like, you're in Vegas right now? <laughs> Why are you in Vegas? Or like, oh, thanks for letting me know you're in Vegas. And I, and I was telling people that almost the same thing. I told you. I got in the wrong car. I was telling almost a lot of people I got in the wrong car. But at the same time, I was like, all I remember was Dave and Buster's. I took a nap and now I'm in Vegas because I didn't remember the smaller details until like I kind of woke up, woke up. But that was all I remember was Dave and Buster's nap in the car, <laughs> McDonald's <laughs> and then Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this it's funny because. Yeah, like all of us were like, man, these motherfuckers <laughs> ended up in Vegas. But deep down for me, I was like, you know, I'm glad he did it because Ratu is a very selfless person, which puts others before himself. And he and rarely gives himself the opportunity to actually relax. So I was actually very happy that he did that. Uh, also very pissed off that I wasn't there. <laughs> you know, we haven't gone to Vegas together. We, we have not. And this is what it is. <laughs> I did have something. I did have a trip planned for us earlier this year, but I got hired. So oh, that's I was true. like, yeah, 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 whatever, true. so yeah. be it. We'll make it work another day. Well, we'll make it happen because, yeah, I think as long as I've known you, Tonight? we have. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, guys. We're gonna go. <laughs> it's only three. <laughs> we'll definitely have more hours. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, I think like, I was telling Jose that too. Like as long as I've known him, but then again, like I haven't like hung out or a party with Jose as much as I have with until like these past like year and a half, two years. Yeah. So like I was just like when we were out there, I was like, man, I, this is our first time in Vegas. 
But yeah, I still gotta pop that balloon with you too. Yeah. Like going to going to Vegas. Yeah, but uh needless to say, I do had a blast. Fuck boy, I didn't even, I didn't even get to go, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just All right, guys. Uh thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Barely Brothers Podcast. Uh, let us know what you want us to talk about. I haven't seen any comments yet, so we're just going to keep doing our thing uh, until one of y'all tell us what y'all want us to talk about. Um, yeah, we're going to be recording a couple more episodes. I actually have a couple of topics that I want us to talk about. Uh, that shit was hilarious. My back still hurts, so I'm going to roll it out before we record this next episode. Uh, Ronson, do you want to say anything? I like baked potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Deuces.